So, Star Wars Celebration just happened. What do I think of it? Oh crap. 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 Mega crap. I'll give you 200 bucks for all of them. That seems a little low. Take them somewhere else then. I thought Celebration was going to be underwhelming. And I wasn't necessarily wrong, but what they're doing, they're just going 500 miles further in the wrong direction. Let's talk about all the noteworthy things announced at Celebration. First, let's talk about the Ahsoka series. Everyone is fucking sick of Ahsoka. The most overrated, most overused character ever. Filoni can't let his bitch go, and so we're essentially going to get what many people have called Season 5 of Rebels. Given I'm still trying to keep up to date on the Filoniverse, I need to wrap up my Rebels series reviews. And given my Rebels Season 1 review is already proving to be damn long, longer than my Season 7 review of the Clone Wars, and I'm only barely halfway through the season episode-wise, I'm losing my fucking mind. The whole thing looks extremely cheap and a plagiarized rip-off of the Thrawn trilogy. As someone who has read those books, expect me to go to town on the Ahsoka series for everything Filoni will copy. I expect a watered-down Thrawn trilogy with Clone Wars and Rebels characters, like Ahsoka. As far as I can tell, Filoni isn't even consulting Timothy Zahn, who wrote the damn source material. So that's a doubly extra sign that they're getting carried away. Of course, the main people defending the show will be people who have little to no experience with the expanded universe and always opt for what's mainstream and accessible at best. They act like Filoni's the fucking savior, and everyone should know better by now. It looks to me that Filoni is going to copy paste all the classic plot points from the Thrawn trilogy, replace key moments with Rebels characters, and sit there while the show gets critically acclaimed by the shilling masses. Man, if only people would actually read the damn Thrawn trilogy. From what I've seen, they've absolutely butchered Thrawn from the source material, except for the incredibly general stuff, and as such, misrepresented him to hell and back. And the Disney Star Wars fans won't know the difference, because they never bothered to read the older, better Star Wars content. Contrary to what many may try to paint me as, I am not some sequel-hating prequel purist, I love plenty of Star Wars. It's just that the modern stuff has been highly corporatized to hell and back. My channel is dedicated to being a Star Wars everyman in fact, so I make it my mission to experience everything with the Star Wars name on it. And that's why I can confidently say that the stuff created after George Lucas absolutely butcher the source material. Nothing I can say can convince the shills to open themselves up to the Star Wars universe. They'll continuously just watch the warp perspective of Disney's bastardization. And I keep trying to tell them to start reading better books and shit, and they don't budge. So to sum it up, Ahsoka looks terrible. Next topic. They also announced that Rey's going to return in a post-Episode 9 film. Aside from me half expecting for said film to be cancelled, because what film haven't they cancelled? I have no hope if said film actually does get made. Also, it turns out Dave Filoni is making another Star Wars film, after the Clone Wars movie. Another turn off in my end, because it seems Filoni can only do two things, and that's Ahsoka and filler. Apparently, this is going to be a Mandoverse film, so that makes me wonder what the hell they're going to do. Although I'm far from interested in a positive way. Apparently the idiot known as Taika Waititi, the same moron who forgot Natalie Portman was in Star Wars, and deserved to be fired on the spot for admitting that, is still working on his film. You know, something I want to emphasize is they keep getting the most ignorant of ignorant filmmakers and writers to make Star Wars products despite knowing next to nothing about Star Wars. Besides from watching A New Hope 20 or so years ago, they all happen to be prequel haters too, except for maybe Ryan Johnson. But he barely counts given he doesn't understand any of the movies George Lucas made. Tales of the Jedi Chinese Knockoff Edition is getting renewed for a season 2. And I'm just groaning my ass off, further urinating on the work made by other, better creators. Seriously, all season 2 will do is make the original 90s comics even more obsolete and turn them into an obscure footnote in Star Wars history. I emphasized in my real Tales of the Jedi and Dark Empire reviews that both of Tom Veitch's pivotal Star Wars works have been plagiarized and brushed under the rug. This is why Filoni is a fucking crook for not wanting to work in an established continuity. Aside from that, 
we're getting a Dawn of the Jedi movie, and I half expect that to be cancelled too. Besides, people are better off reading the EU Jedi origin story instead. Next, Kathleen Kennedy tried to assure us that the Rogue Squadron movie could still happen. I don't believe her in the slightest. Disney as a company have compulsively lied so many times, it's hard to believe they'll keep their word on anything. Next we've got The Acolyte, which will perhaps be the wokest thing we'll ever see. Aside from having a bizarre cast, little about The Acolyte interests me. It's going to have that dude from Squid Game, but little much else. Based on what I've heard, they're so fucking smug about this show. Like apparently there will be a gay sex scene which just like Andor, will be extremely out of touch with what Star Wars is. Speaking of Andor, the second season is apparently getting a 2024 premiere date. Hopefully, they'll improve the pacing because it was terrible in the first season. They drip fed the plot at a snail's pace. A story about a guy joining a cause bigger than himself should not be that fucking slow. But it was. The show had zero momentum or tension, and it took three episodes to even sort of initiate the larger plot. Then we've got Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The trailer looked terrible. Indy's politically correct sidekick will most likely hijack the movie, and the film will most likely retcon the entire Indiana Jones expanded universe, including young Indy Chronicles. Ugh. Pass. I have little hope for anything except for maybe Jedi Survivor. If there's anything else that pops up, I'll pin a comment. I'm JJ Plagiarisms, and until next time, what are stories about mystery boxes? Under the mountain.